Hello all and welcome to today's webinar on how to create WhatsApp chat inbox in Zoho team inbox. I am Jafrina and I am thrilled to be a host for today's session. If you have any questions, you may ask them by using the Q&A section, which you will see in your meeting screen and our team will be able to answer them for you. Over the next 30 to 45 minutes, we are going to discuss why you should create WhatsApp shared inboxes in Zoho Team Inbox and how they will help you communicate effectively with your customers and collaborate better with your team. All right, now let us just see the Zoho Team Inbox's journey to being an omni-channel. A few months back, we introduced Telegram Inbox in Zoho Team Inbox and a few weeks back, we launched our WhatsApp Inbox. So in the current uh, digital landscape, where there are multiple channels available to interact with a business, it is highly important to give your customers a seamless and consistent experience across all channels. This is where omni-channel platforms comes to play. Our intent from the very beginning has been to make Zoho Team Inbox an omni-channel platform with all the communication channels under a single roof so that you can save yourself from the trouble of switching between multiple applications. Today, it is the email channel that we have, and we now have WhatsApp and Telegram. We are also working on a lot more. Before we discuss further, here's the agenda for today's session. So uh, first, we'll discuss about what an omni-channel inbox is and its importance. Then we'll speak about the significance of WhatsApp as a business communication channel. Later, we'll talk about the benefits of WhatsApp shared inbox. And then finally, I'll give you a demo on how to create WhatsApp shared inboxes in Zoho Team Inbox. Let's move on. First, let us see what an omni-channel inbox is. By definition, an omni-channel inbox is a centralized communication platform that enables businesses to manage and respond to customers' messages. So all the messages across various communication channel. It could be via email, uh, uh, through social media or chats, etc. All from within a single interface. So it helps consolidate interactions from different channels into one unified view. So it, it will also make it easier for teams or individuals to provide efficient and consistent response to their customers. Now, let us see all the benefits of an omni-channel inbox. So using an omni-channel inbox, you can just stop juggling between multiple applications that you use for your collaboration and communication needs. It will definitely improve the overall customer experience. It will also help you maintain consistency across channels, and it will help you easily promote multi-team collaboration. Moving on, uh, let us see WhatsApp for Business. Allow me a minute to detail you about the significance of WhatsApp as a business communication tool. As we all know, WhatsApp is widely used. So with more than 2 billion users around the globe, WhatsApp is the most used channel both for business and personal communication. As WhatsApp has a huge user base, businesses will have a better chance to reach out to vast potential audience to deliver their business and also engage with them. Besides, WhatsApp enables direct and personal communication with customers reaching to the mobile phones that we'll always carry. Also, WhatsApp is not just for outbound messaging. It also allows customers to initiate conversation with the business making it a two-way communication channel for inquiries, for sharing feedback, and also for support purposes. So uh, with all these things, uh, we consider all these as boons, all right, in business communication. So businesses have been using WhatsApp as a tool for their customers to get in touch with them. Therefore, introducing WhatsApp channel inside Zoho Team Inbox is an obvious step forward. Moving on, let us see what is WhatsApp shared inbox in Zoho Team Inbox. So we uh, strive to make team emails effortless for you by making them easy to manage and collaborate over. Now, 
we've also brought in WhatsApp shared inbox filled with all the same collaboration capabilities that you've been enjoying in your email shared inbox. So you can connect your WhatsApp business with Zoho team inbox and enjoy the benefit of having a transparent and shared space. You can receive and send messages from here. You'll be able to discuss with your team. Uh, you can also apply tags or rules. You will be able to snooze your threads. You will be able to archive them or even follow the chats to know what is happening any, in any specific message. And uh, the most significant of all is that you can connect and manage multiple WhatsApp business numbers all under one roof without the need to navigate between apps or even devices. Uh, here are some of the other reasons why our WhatsApp shared inbox will solve the communication problem for your businesses. Let us see that one by one. So the first point will be transparency and visibility. So um, besides the benefit of having all your business conversation on a single platform, we've brought in all the collaboration capabilities that you've enjoyed in an email shared inbox as well. As I already said, our WhatsApp shared inbox also gives you the same level of transparency and visibility among the teammates. Having said that, every member of the team will be able to view the incoming messages, replies made by them, and every other action taken on a conversation. All this without having to forward anything. And the next point will be internal discussion right next to the chat thread. So um, every time, if you need uh, help with any conversation, you can just at mention your teammate and ask your question or discuss on the query asked by the customer. If you want to brainstorm on something, you can pull in the entire team for a quick discussion. But to do that, you don't have to you know, switch to another application to discuss or collaborate. Having these conversation right next to the specific conversation uh, will help your team read the thread understand the context and give you informed responses. It will also help you maintain the conversation history for future reference all in a single place. Moving on, let us see about delegation and organization. So uh, using WhatsApp in Zoho team inbox, you can also assign each message to a member of the team. This will also give you an overview of the messages which are being handled and which are left out. So besides assigning, you will be able to, you know, sort the conversation based on their priority. You can also set the status by snoozing them or archiving. You can also categorize the threads with a shared tags for a clean inbox. Having all these pointers, you will be able to achieve inbox zero, not only for your email, but, but also for your WhatsApp messages. And the last point will be accountability. When multiple people handle multiple conversation, it's very much important to know precisely who made a specific reply. And that's exactly what a shared inbox will help you with. Our activity timeline will give you all the details on every activity that is happening in a thread, such as who did what and when. With this, you will be able to identify and track the messages very easily. All right, so um, now we've understood the importance of WhatsApp shared inbox. We'll quickly get to the demo part, okay? So I will show you how to create a WhatsApp inbox in Zoho team inbox and manage it. Um, when uh, creating a WhatsApp inbox with Zoho team inbox, you will have to authenticate your business account with Meta. We have recorded an entire video on how to do that. Let me play that as I explain you uh, step by step. Um, before configuring your WhatsApp account with Zoho Team Inbox, you'll require a set of prerequisites. So that is on the screen. As you can see, you will need a WhatsApp business account, a registered phone number to access the WhatsApp business API, and a Facebook business manager account. Now, um, the configuration between Zoho Team Inbox and WhatsApp is pretty straightforward. It only requires a few steps. Now, we'll show you how to create a WhatsApp Inbox within Zoho Team Inbox. 
So you can log into your Zoho theme inbox account, click on the plus icon and choose the type as inbox. And then the, under the inbox type, uh, you can choose team. You may enter the name for your inbox and uh, you can give any description that you want. Under the teams, you will be able to select the team. So there will be a little drop down so you can choose the team and then proceed with the next step. Here you will have uh, the all the channels. In this, you'll have to choose WhatsApp. So right next to WhatsApp, if you notice, you will also see another one called WhatsApp Sandbox. Uh, WhatsApp Sandbox is a pre-configured environment that allow you to test WhatsApp messages before actually config configuring your official WhatsApp number. You can add up to three numbers and you can uh, test this conf configuration. So you will be able to see how the interface looks like before adding your uh, WhatsApp business account. So you may try that and then proceed with the WhatsApp channel configuration. All right. So you can choose WhatsApp. And now uh, you will have uh, the terms and condition where you'll have to carefully read them through. You will have the condition for WhatsApp client ISP terms and WhatsApp client terms. You may read them carefully. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click on agree and continue to proceed with the next step. So after you read them through, you can click on agree and integrate. In the next step, you will get a Facebook pop-up where you'll have to enter your email address or phone number and the password to log in. If you don't have an account, you can click on create account and proceed in creating a new account. As soon as you log in, an authentication code will be sent. So you'll have to enter the code and click on submit. Uh, you may click on get started. And in this page, we will find the permissions required by Zoho Team Inbox in order to connect with Meta account. You may read them and then click on continue. So the next process will be to fill in your business application, business information, I'm sorry. So you can enter your business information. If you already have a Meta business account, you may choose that. Or if you click on the drop down, you will have an option to create one. You can enter the business name and the business profile and click on next. So when the drop down in this drop down, you will have both uh, create a business account and an already existing account. So we have already pre-configured this. So we are selecting an account that is configured. You may then click on next. In this earlier, we did, what we did was for Meta. Now you'll have to create for WhatsApp business account. Likewise, you may either choose to create a new one or select an existing one from the drop down. So you can click on the drop down and select an existing one. Here we are doing that. And you can choose the WhatsApp business profile as well. Once you're done, you can click on next. Okay. So in the next process, it is uh, the Meta business account creation and WhatsApp business profile creation is done. We are now done with the authentication part. You can click on finish. So this will take you back to Zoho team inbox. When the authentication is successful, you will see a prompt authentication successful in this page at the top bar. So I've highlighted that as well. So you can see the option. So now you, you will have to choose the WhatsApp business account. So there is a drop down. You can click on it and choose the account. And the next option will be to select the phone number. From the drop down, you'll be able to select the phone number. Okay. After this is done, let me explain you that this authentication is a one time process. If you prefer to add additional numbers, we have an add number option on the same page where you can add multiple numbers and manage them via team inbox. So the add number option is also available in the same page. After you've selected the number, you can click on create inbox. So after that is done, you will come to the add inbox members page, just like uh, which is similar to the email channel creation. 
So you can select the members who are already added or invite new members and click on save and next. So this is the page in which uh, this is the settings page specific to WhatsApp inbox. Here you will see the options. Uh, you will see a link and then two other options. So based on your preference, team's preference, you can enable them. Okay. The link that you see here can be updated on your websites or maybe directly shared with your customers using which they can access the link and send a WhatsApp message directly to you. So now that we've created the inbox, let me show you the actions that you can perform in a WhatsApp inbox. Give me a moment, please. All right. So this is uh, the team inbox in which a WhatsApp shared inbox is already configured. If you see on the left pane, you will see the WhatsApp inbox that is configured. This is the interface on how it will look like. Okay. So let me explain what all is available. What are the options that are available? So for the views, you will have an assigned you will have open, archived, and snooze. This is pretty much similar to the email inboxes view. So this is how the chat window is going to look like. So if an email, if a message is received, you will be able to see it and respond from here. So you can directly type and send your message, OK? Uh, apart from that, you will have the archive thread. You will have the option to snooze. You can also apply tags based on your team's preference to organize. And then um, you will have this follow option as well, wherein you will be able to you know, be informed of what is happening in this specific conversation. Apart from that, you will be able to assign this thread to anyone in the team, and that person will be able to handle it further. OK? So if you want to discuss, you can use this comment section. And if you want to discuss with, with any specific per person, you can just add, mention their name and tag them and ask a query. So they will be able to help you and with the query and follow on the thread, OK? So uh, as we discussed in one of our points, we also discuss about the activity timeline. So if you want to know what has happened exactly in this thread, you can track it down using the activity timeline. So this will give you the inform information of what has been happening uh, since the message was sent. If you notice here, you will see another thing where you cannot so, uh, this uh, this chat, this bar will open up. So when there is 24 hours of inactivity, you will see this message. When the recipient sends a new message, this will go off and you will get a screen just like this so that you can answer to the message. We will discuss about that in the next section, which is about pricing. Okay, allow me a moment, please. OK, so let's uh, discuss about the pricing. Um, there are no additional charges for WhatsApp inbox in Zoho team inbox. You can be subscribed to any of our plans and WhatsApp inbox is included in the number of permitted inbox as per the plan. Uh, if you go with the startup plan, it's going to be three inboxes. And for the professional plan, it's going to be five inboxes. So any add ons purchased additionally can also be created as a WhatsApp inbox. However, there are additional charges by Meta for sending out and receiving business messages. Uh, their pricing is based on per conversation. And one conversation is a 24 hour open window. One credit is at $2. But the number of conversation that can be made with one credit will depend on the recipients region as per Meta's pricing. We'll drop a link in the chat box that will detail you on the pricing, OK? Um, we have now come to the end of our session. But before we end, let us quickly show you our roadmap. So uh, when we first launched a Zoho Team Inbox, we introduced the email channels incorporating the ever needed collaboration features in them. And then to help users avoid using multiple applications for their email needs, we then introduce the personal inboxes within Team Inbox so that you don't have to use another platform to access personal emails. Now, with the same in intent, we've uh, introduced Telegram and WhatsApp channels. There are a lot more useful channels that we are working on. Stay tuned with us to know about the updates. 
All right. So um, apart from that, next in line, we have the desktop app coming up for Mac OS and Chrome OS. And uh, as you can see on the screen, we are working on channels such as Instagram and Facebook DM. Also, business initiated conversation is in the roadmap, which will be helpful for many businesses. Apart from discussions or comments, which are associated with email chat or threads, we are also working on a separate feature for discussions. Using this feature, you'll be able to, you know, directly initiate a discussion or collaborate with your team. It could be used like for knowledge sharing or planning, or if you want to discuss any customer's issue, you will be able to initiate a conversation directly and start engaging with your team. One other important feature a team is working on right now is move threads across inboxes. Be it an email conversation or any DM, you can move it across in, uh, inboxes irrespective of the teams they are in. Also, we are working on custom statuses and Kanban view. You will be able to define statuses based on your team's requirement and modify them whenever needed with the help of Kanban view for a more organized and neat space. So that's it. That sums it up. I hope all are excited as much as we are for the new releases and we will be releasing them in the future updates. Uh, I hope the session was useful. We have now come to the end of the session. You may drop your questions in the Q&A section and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Also, you may also, uh, for any other queries, you can always drop an email to support at zohoteamandbox.com. Thank you all so much for joining.